Hi guys, we're looking in the back of my car at the moment because I was going to do a quick review of this thing. We bought it in uh, Asda and I'm sure they called it a festival trolley. But looking at the name here, it says Ozark Trail Outdoor Equipment Folding Cart. Easily folds down into compact carry bag, heavy duty 7 inch wheels, durable folding steel frame. Now, we bought it so we can use it on the beach, which is not a fair test of it because it's not designed to go on sand. But I will review it on that basis and tell you how we got on. So, we'll take it into the house, I think. <laughs> Although, I'm, no, I might just put it together out here. But I haven't got... Oh, there's the tripod in the back. I'll put the, put the camera on the tripod and then I'll open it up. Right. Right then, this bit comes out. Just check, I think I put the instructions in here somewhere. Yeah, don't want them to blow away. So that's the base. Right, so there's our trolley, opened up, that's the base to stiffen it. And our folding chairs, this size, fit in there perfectly. Unfortunately, my wife likes this one, which doesn't fit in there. We've also got styrofoam body boards. They don't fit in there, but we can slot them in okay. And all the other general on the beach stuff. Right, next thing to show you. This is the bit you pull it along with, and at first glance you might think it steers the front wheels, but it doesn't. The front wheels are ordinary casters. I if you can see that. That takes a bit of getting used to, because you can't actually steer it. The other thing we found is going down onto the beach, there's a concrete slope down onto the beach, there's no brakes on this, so if you're towing it behind you, it runs behind you and catches you on the back of the leg. And if you're letting it go down in front of you, it's not impossible, but it's difficult to steer it. Because these casters tend to roll away with it when you want it to go in a straight line. Right. there. Lift that out. Pull that. It all folds up. And then these bits. I found it easiest to kneel on it.
Right, I've got a bit of debate as to which way round this ought to go on now. Remembering those wheels caster, these wheels don't. So when you're trying to tow it along behind you, it's best to have this handle at this end, the opposite side to where the fixed wheels are. So you've got it that way up, it goes all over the place. Another thing, down on the beach, and again, this is probably not fair, because it's not designed to go on the beach. These front castering wheels have got nuts and bolts on them, so you could actually take them off to maintain the bearings inside, if you've got a spanner with you. The back wheels are held in place with a rivet, so you can't get them off to maintain them. There's nothing you can do about them. You'd have to drill them out and replace them with a nut and bolt. And what I found down on the beach, some of the sand is quite um, gritty sand. It gets down inside between the frame and the wheel and gets into the bearings and they actually lock up solid. And you're just dragging it along the beach without the wheels turning. I found if I spend some time on it afterwards and spin them around a bit and move them side to side you can get the sand to drop out again but that was a problem they lock up solid on the beach depending on what sort of sand you've got or if you've got pebbles they get jammed in between the ribs here and the framework so that locks them up as well so that's the only thing I didn't like about it was the fact that you can't take those off to maintain them they are a good size, they do work on the sand reasonably well. Anybody who's tried to push a push chair or baby buggy or pram or whatever over the sand will know exactly what I mean. Small wheels are absolutely hopeless. These are not too bad, but if they were nice fat puffy ones they'd be perfect. But they're not. So, not ideal for the beach. But we filled this up every day with loads of stuff. At least three chairs, body boards, uh, food, spades, buckets. And we used it every day and it was worth having. I can't remember how much it was. I'll put a note um, on the screen, I expect, to tell you how much it was. I'm sure they're normally called festival trolleys, but as I say, this one's just called folding cart from Asda. Uh, this video is not sponsored or supported by Asda in any way, this is just my personal opinion. that's in focus. That's the instructions. I think it was worth the money for the holiday we've just been on.